You can see on Neil Armstrong particularly, oh. he, he yeah. doesn't want to lie. This guy just doesn't want to lie. No. He's looking down, he just doesn't want to say anything. This is why he didn't give any interviews for the rest of his life. Look at that, please do look at that folks, YouTube video of the first Apollo uh, crew to press come back, a oh. press conference. It is, it's really embarrassing. I mean, it's just embarrassing. It was, the lie was so big that they couldn't, they really couldn't fake it that well. It was too much for them. Mr. Armstrong, I do realize that when you were on the moon, you had very little time for gazing upwards. But could you tell us something about what the sky actually looks like from the moon, the sun, the earth, the stars, if any, and so on? The sky is uh, a deep black uh, when viewed from the moon, as it is when viewed from uh, cislunar space, the space between the earth and the moon. The uh, the Earth is the only visible object other than the Sun that can be seen, although there have been some reports of seeing planets. I myself did not see planets from the surface, but I suspect they might uh, be visible. The Earth is quite beautiful from space uh, and from the Moon. It looks quite small and quite remote, but uh, it's very blue and covered with uh, white lace and <laughs> of the clouds. and the continents are clearly seen, although they have very little color from that distance. What about the sun? Do you see any trace of the corona? No, the uh, glare from the sun on the helmet visor was too difficult to pick out the corona. The only time we could see the corona was during an eclipse of the sun from the moon, that is when we were flying through the moon's shadow and could observe the, the, uh, the solar corona peeking out from behind the moon. Looking at the photographs that you brought back, uh, the colored photographs of the moon's surface, it seems that the color of the surface actually varies according to the angle from which you see it. Is this so? Does it, uh, does it do this? Yes, it certainly does. Uh, it's a characteristic that we observe first while uh, traveling around the moon in orbit. You can see that at the terminator, at mm -hmm. the, uh, the, the boundary between the black part of the moon and the lighted part of the moon, uh, it was as if you were looking at a television set with the contrast turned uh, to f uh, full contrast, very black and very white. Uh, as you moved uh, further into the light, there were more and more shades of gray. But as you moved further, such that the sun was higher above the horizon, you actually start to see the uh, tans and browns appear, although uh, at a very low level. Similarly, on the surface of the moon, the same characteristic is evident. You can see uh, browns uh, if the sun is high enough. Apollo 12, for example, landed while the sun was only five yes. degrees above the horizon. So when they arrived, they saw no browns or tans anywhere, only fairly high contrast grays. But you did. But Yes, I did. The sun was 11 degrees, and Apollo 12 did also. The next day, when the, uh, when they arose from their sleeping period and the sun was higher, of course, then the browns were observable to them. When you were actually walking about on the moon's surface and kicking about a certain amount of dust, did you notice any local color? And also, were you at all subconsciously worried about the possibility of unsafe areas? Well, the color is a, is a puzzling phenomenon on the on the moon, aside from the characteristics that I've already mentioned, uh, you generally have the impression of being on a desert-like surface with rather light-colored hues. Uh, yet when you look at the material uh, 
at close range, as if in your hand you find it's a charcoal gray, in fact, and we were never able to find any things that were very different from that color. Uh, I suspect that as we get more and more samples with future flights, we will see that there is, in fact, some color, but the optical properties on the moon are most peculiar.